Hey guys, Mudge here, let's grow it. Uh, we're gonna be harvesting our carrots today. This is the kind of time of year where the garden looks like the worst, but yet it's the most beautiful because you get to find out what's growing underneath and uh, get your bounty and see what you got. So uh, we've been pulling some carrots. We've been, we've been using them uh, kind of for the last couple months at least anyway, but uh, they seem to, see, seem to keep getting bigger. So let's just have a go here, see where they're at now. Pretty good size, good shape. Oh, here, check this one out. Ugh. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. We've seen many of these. And uh, it's the first year this garden's up here, so that probably has a lot to do with it. All the natural, uh, you know, uh, the nutrients and the uh, organ, or the, uh... shoot, <laughs> I have to cut that part out. <laughs> but all the, all the natural nutrients and everything, all the food for the plants that they need they're getting it for the first time so they're gonna grow quite nicely so we're gonna continue to do this and then we're gonna go down and uh, we're gonna show you how to storage them uh, oh one thing I want to show you here now normally uh, carrots kinda like a biannual when it comes to flowering but this is what it looks like when they flower and biannual I mean the second year of the flower so it's kinda hard to get carrot seed but anyway for some strange reason, this one decided to flower this year, so I'm hoping this is going to have enough time to flower fully and give us some seed, and we can get some seed from that. So, uh, anyway, we'll get back to you here in a minute. So here we got our harvest for milk crates. We still have another row up there we got to get out, but we're not ready for it yet. So a good little harvest there. <laughs> and the big sunflower, I'll move that. I'll keep the seeds off of that, grow them next year. Take a look at that sucker. Nice big one. Anyway, there's our first harvest of carrots. I'll show you how we store them. Okay, so right now we're in our cold room. And this is our potato slash carrot box for the winter. And as you see, we have our potatoes on the right side. And we got some peat moss in there. Peat moss will help keep the moisture control. Um, we're going to cover this completely of peat moss to help with the lighting. Uh, the darker, the better. So you want to cool. Number one, cool. Number two, dry. Number three, dark. Those three things, and you should be successful for a good long storage period. So we've got dry. We in our cool room. We have cold room. We've got some ventilation comes in there and in there out there that kind of keeps it dry get the air coming through it's going to be dark because we'll have the lights off and we're covered in peat moss plus it's in this box sorry I'm moving the camera around pretty fast and we'll shut the hood on this and again we'll cover them in peat moss and that'll take care of that on this side however our carrots you want it cool you want it dry and you want it well, dry to semi-moist, I'll explain what I mean there in a minute, and you also want it dark. So, um, what we're doing on this side is the same thing with the peat moss. We're layering it, put our carrots down, put a layer of peat moss, carrots, layer of peat moss, like a carrot lasagna kind of thing. But here, we dampen our peat moss, and that's what Marie is doing. She gets a bucket of peat moss, and then she'll put some water in it. Thanks for the smile, baby. <laughs> and uh, that way, it'll help keep a uh, controlled amount of moisture so the carrots don't dry out and, and wilt and get all soft. So the peat moss will control the moisture. It'll hold on to it if there's too much, and then it'll release some back to the carrots if it needs it. And that should control the, keep them all good and snappy for the next time we have some. Uh, just another shot here. Uh, you got some carrots that are kind of weird shaped and whatnot. They're gonna take up a lot of room for storage. But uh, yeah, see that's pretty crazy. <laughs> but they're still edible, so we will store these ones in the fridge and eat them as soon as possible. Walkway runner. <laughs> yeah. So nothing here goes to waste. And uh, yeah, we'll continue to do this and then. <laughs> We'll show you what it looks like when we're done, I guess. But that's the idea right there. 
Okay, so we got our carrots and potatoes in. Uh, just to kind of go over it again. We want the peat moss to completely cover the potatoes. So that helps with the light. And we just leave the peat moss as is because the potatoes kind of carry a lot of moisture anyway. So the peat moss will help keep them dry. The carrots, however, we cover them with peat moss as well, but we dampen the peat moss for the carrots because <clears throat> the carrots tend to dry out quicker and get all floppy and flimsy. So that little bit of dampness will help keep them crispier. We put newspaper over it. Newspaper will help control moisture, also help with lighting. And this is what it's going to look like when you're done. I'll put newspaper over this, cover this, and she's good. And if you need one, you just come in, dig her up, away you go. <laughs> good stuff. All right, so there you have it. That's the way we store our, our winter carrots, and hopefully they'll stay crunchy till Christmas and beyond. Um, any questions, comments, leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, show me how you store yours. Maybe you got some ideas, something I missed. You know, this is just the way I do things. There's nothing, uh, no expertise involved. <laughs> this is just. Uh, it's the way we do it. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Let's grow it.